A lot of players and coaches believe in the concept of a central position on court that you should always get in after hitting a shot. So it could look like this in the middle of the court, one foot on each side. And yeah, after hitting a shot, always try to get into a position like that. To be honest, I think this is one of the worst things you can try to do or one of the worst advice you can give a player. So please stop telling players to get into a central position after every shot and maybe replace that rule with two other rules I want to present you in this video and also show you some in-game scenes um, where I try to describe a good positioning on court. And the two rules I'm talking about is rule number one, always be ready to start when your opponent hits the shot and rule number two, cover for the most dangerous corners or for the most dangerous shots your opponent can play. And now we want to dive in some different situations where I describe how you can apply these two rules to your footwork and also get more successful by positioning the right way in the right situation. So I think the first rule is especially important for beginners as many of them try always to run back to the center and then they are not ready to start again when the opponent hits. So you always want to be in a position or be in a place where you can change the direction or push when the other one plays the shuttle. And also we will see that this does not actually mean that you have the chance to get to the center or that it makes sense to get there. But first of all, we want to dive into two different situations or want to um, differentiate between offense and defense because this makes a huge difference in terms of where and how to position on court. So by defense, I mean you're playing a high shot and the opponent has the option to attack. So we're going to look at a short rally or some different situations here. Now I play the lift and you can see this is maybe also something you could call a real central position like I was talking in the beginning one foot on each side and why do I stand like that my opponent can play all four corners quite easily I have to be ready for all of them and I want to cover the most dangerous shot you remember rule number two the most dangerous shot in those situations is the smash so I want to have a foot position parallel to the net so I can push very quickly to the right or to the left if the smash is coming. So here my opponent is not playing the smash so I have to correct my foot position a little bit. You will see that now and then I will play another clear and once again I go back to the center. This time I'm also orientating a little bit more on the left side so you can see I'm not completely in the center of the court and once again because of rule number two my shot went quite far out to the left side of my opponent's court. So um, the most dangerous shot is the long line smash. So I have to be ready for that one. If he wants to attack cross, the shuttle travels a lot longer and a lot further and I have a little bit more time. So I have to be ready for the long line smash. And that will also come now here and you can see that I'm ready for that smash because I was already waiting on that side a little bit. Uh, once again, after the clear, I try to get back to the center, but most of the times I'm a little bit, I'm moving a little bit to the side where I play the shuttle on because yeah, the cross shuttle travels a lot longer than the long line. Okay, so you could say in defensive situations you want to get uh, mainly to the center of the court, maybe a little bit to the right or left, but there you are quite central when the opponent hits and you're also able to do that because you play a long shot, you have a lot of time and you have enough time to get to the center. Now when it comes to offensive situations, you will see that there's not enough time in many cases to get back to the center. And also when you're playing down, you take away a few options for your opponent. So the most important thing that is different now, he cannot smash to the sides. So most of the times when you are in offense and you're playing down, you don't want to have that parallel position with your feet, but you want to turn the foot position a little bit. And already when you're doing a short serve, for example, we can see that right here in the beginning, you will uh, realize that I'm already turned with my foot position. I was covering for the left front court and for the right rear court. My opponent got me there and played to my backhand, but I knew he cannot smash to the side, so I could already try to guess a little bit and cover two corners with my foot position. And yeah, we will see what happens now. I'm uh, a little bit under pressure, but I still play with the backhand a shot that goes downwards. And you can see maybe also here I moved a little bit too much to the middle. I'm a little bit out of balance now and I made that maybe mistake of I would try to get too far back to the middle instead of just being ready when the opponent hits. So he plays again to that corner and I have to start from there. 
I still play down and then you can see I only can make one step and then the shuttle is already at my opponent. It's impossible to get all the way to the middle even if you are super fast and this was only a fast drop. Uh, in, a, in a second we will also see what happens after a smash and uh, there you have so little time so do not try to rush back to the middle. So here I take one step out of the corner and this one here is also interesting in my eyes. You can see I played a really short net shot and my opponent is very low at the net and this takes away so many options for him. He only basically has two options now. He can play short to the net or he can play a really high lift. And you can also see my feet are completely turned now. So I'm not parallel anymore to the net, but completely the other way around. So I can push forward if he plays a short net shot back. This is the most dangerous shot here because it will be on my side in a very short time. So there I have to be ready. And if he plays the lift, I can push backwards, but there I also have a lot of time. So maybe I could also wait a little bit closer to the net that I'm actually doing here. Um, yeah, but I have to only cover two things, a short net shot or a really high lift. And now we see the lift is coming. I'm going to the rear court and I'm going to attack. And now you can see my opponent hits the shuttle after my smash and I'm still standing in the corner. So yeah, no player is fast enough after a smash to get all the way to the middle or get into a, what many coaches call a central position. So to sum it up, when you play to the rear court and your opponent has a lot of time and you're in defense, choose a more neutral foot position. So parallel to the net and try to get more to the center of the court. Maybe shift a little bit to the side of where you're playing the shuttle but there you're quite central. Completely opposite when you're playing down, when you're in offense, most of the times you will not be um, even able to get close to the middle, but you're also taking away a lot of options for your opponent. So turn your foot position, one foot in front, one in the back, and you can say the more offensive you are, the more you are turned towards the net. Be ready for the most dangerous shots from your opponent. And by most dangerous in defense, I basically mean the smash. In offense, I mainly mean the shot that is most likely to come like i was just explaining with the short net shot there you have to be ready because it travels only a very short period of time so you have to be ready at the net there are also situations for example when you have your opponent under pressure in the rear court and you know he cannot play a backhand clear from a certain situation it also makes sense to push forward so stay at the net don't get back to the middle of the court if you already know that there will be no cross clear from the backhand. So especially on a lower level, this will never happen. Try to choose your position according to what your opponent actually can play. So you can sometimes also kill off the shuttle in those situations right away and be more offensive minded in terms of positioning. If you want to dive in more into footwork technique, um, I made a complete playlist. You can find it down here. Uh, definitely check that one out. And our final task in terms of positioning for you, position your finger or your mouse cursor on the like button for this video and also on the subscribe button for my channel. So you will not miss out upcoming videos in the future. And I hope I see and can welcome you there. Bye bye.